day, everyone! I am Mrs. Leia May Ortiz San Miguel, your grade 9 mathematics teacher for today. How are you today? Good to hear that you are all safe and healthy. I will be discussing illustration of quadratic equations. Before you proceed watching this video, I am encouraging everyone to please have a pen and a paper with you. So our objective is to illustrate quadratic equations. So let's start the discussion by finding the product of these expressions. 3 multiplied by the quantity of x squared plus 7. Correct! The answer is 3x squared plus 21. And how did you get the product? Exactly! By applying the distributive property. For the second given, we have the quantity of W plus 7 multiplied by the quantity of W plus 3. Correct! The answer is W squared plus 10W plus 21. And how did you get the product? Very good! By using the FOIL method. F stands for the first terms, O, outer terms, I, inner terms, and L for the last terms. And for the third given, find the product of the square of 3 minus 4m. Correct! The square of 3 minus 4m is equal to 9 minus 24m plus 16m squared. So these are the products that we get earlier. We have 3x squared plus 21, w squared plus 10w plus 21, 9 minus 24m plus 16m squared. Based on this, what common characteristics do these polynomials have? Very good observation! These polynomials have one variable and the highest exponent of the variable is 2. So let us define quadratic equation. Quadratic equation is an equation in second degree. When we say degree of an equation, it is the highest exponent of the variable. It is written in standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. So again, the standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Wherein ax squared is the quadratic term, bx is the linear term, and C is the constant term. Now, the question is, why is that A must not be equal to 0? Very good. Because once A is equal to 0, the quadratic term will be equal to 0. And if the equation is Bx plus C is equal to 0, the degree is 1. And if the degree is 1, it is not a quadratic equation. It is a linear equation. So remember that the degree of the equation must be 2 if we are talking about quadratic equation. I will be showing 5 equations. And we're going to identify if the given equation is a quadratic equation or not. For the first equation, we have x squared minus 5x equals 8. For us to determine if the given equation is a quadratic equation, the degree must be 2. 
Okay, very good. So for the first equation, it is a quadratic equation. Next, second equation. 11 equals 3x squared. Correct! It is also a quadratic equation. Number 3. 3x minus 7 equals 6. Very good! It is not quadratic equation. Why? Exactly! Because the degree is 1. For the fourth equation, we have the square of 2x minus 4 is equal to negative 5x. Correct! It is a quadratic equation. When we expand the square of 2x minus 4, the degree of the equation becomes 2. And for the last equation, we have 5x multiplied by the quantity of x squared minus 8 equals negative 2x. Correct! It is not a quadratic equation. Why? Excellent! When we apply the distributive property, 5x multiplied by x squared is 5x cubed. So, the degree of the equation is now 3. And now that you know how to determine if the given equation is a quadratic equation or not, now let's proceed with writing quadratic equation in standard form. For the first example, we have 3x squared minus 8x is equal to 4. We need to write it in standard form and find the values of a, b, and c. So in the given 3x squared minus 8x is equal to 4, we need to transpose the constant term which is 4. Transposing term is based on the addition property of equality. And when we say transposition, it is transferring term or terms from one side of the equation to the other side of the equation. So the equation will be 3x squared minus 8x minus 4 is equal to 0. Remember that when transposing terms, you have to change the sign. Is 3x squared minus 8x minus 4 equals 0 is written in standard form? Yes. Now, let's identify the values of A, B, and C. A is the numerical coefficient of x squared. B is the numerical coefficient of x. And of course, C is the constant term. So, in 3x squared minus 8x minus 4 equals 0, A is equal to 3. B is equal to negative 8. And C is equal to negative 4. For example, number 2, we need to write the equation 5x multiplied by the quantity of x minus 4 plus 2 is equal to 0 in standard form and find the values of A B and C. Now, for us to write it in standard form, we need to find the product of 5x and x minus 4 by applying the distributive property. So, 5x multiplied by x is 5x squared. 5x times negative 4 is negative 20x. And then just copy plus 2 equals 0. So the resulting equation is 5x squared minus 20x plus 2 is equal to 0. And it's already in standard form. Now let's determine the values of A, B, and C. A is equal to 5. B is equal to 
negative 20 and C is equal to 2. For the third given, write the equation, the square of x plus c is equal to 5x in standard form and determine the values of a, b, and c. Now, in this given, we need to get the square of x plus 3. By applying the concept of special product, it is a square of binomial. So, the square of x plus 3 is x squared plus 6x plus 9 and then copy equals 5x. So suppose 5x. So the resulting equation will be x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 5x is equal to 0. And then look for the similar terms. So 6x and negative 5x are similar terms. So simplifying 6x minus 5x, the answer is x. So our equation will be x squared plus x plus 9 is equal to 0. Now let's determine the values of a, b, and c. a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, and C is equal to 9. For our last example, we need to write the equation the quantity of 2x minus 5 times the quantity of 5x plus 3 is equal to x squared in standard form and find the values of A, B, and C. So in this example, we need to get the product of the quantity of 2x minus 5 multiplied by the quantity of 5x plus 3 by applying the FOIL method. The result will be 10x squared plus 6x minus 25x minus 15 equals negative x squared. Since there is a term on the right side of the equation, we need to transpose it on the other side. So the resulting equation will be 10x squared plus 6x minus 25x minus 15 plus x squared is equal to 0. And then we need to combine similar terms. So in this given, the similar terms are 6x and negative 25x. And 6x minus 25x is, correct, negative 19x. Do we have another similar terms? Yes, we have. We have 10x squared and positive x squared. And 10x squared plus x squared is, very good, 11x squared. So the result will be, 11x squared minus 19x minus 15 equals 0. Now, we are ready to find the values of A, B, and C. The value of A is 11, B is negative 19, and C is negative 15. We are done in illustrating quadratic equations. To sum it up, quadratic equation in one variable is an equation in second degree. The standard form of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. This has been your mathematics teacher, Mrs. San Miguel, saying... Nothing is difficult in this world. It's our thinking which makes it difficult. So learn to love mathematics and for sure, math will love you back.